the week, the data that was. The soft data has been really choppy, Larry. It's been really soft. Then the hard data this morning, the jobs report, was OK. What are your thoughts, your assessment on that distinction between the soft data, which is looking a little bit weak at the moment, and the hard data, which is still pretty resilient? Well, there's a lot of good data out there, and there's some soft data, but I just want to note, I mean, look, for Americans across the country, the headline number here is a 3.5% unemployment rate. It is a 50-year low. I think that's a tremendous achievement, and it's well distributed, Jonathan. Uh, African Americans, Hispanics, Asians, even people uh, below high school diplomas. It's a phenomenal achievement, and all Americans should be proud of this. And regarding the payroll numbers, look at you got uh, 136,000, but as you know, I'm sure you reported already, the upward revisions for uh, July and especially August, 45,000. So really, today's number on payrolls is 181,000. And then finally, I want to kind of repeat what we talked about a month ago. If you look under the hood, one of the most important indicators of employment is the household survey, where they question individuals who, many cases, own or work in a small business. The household survey was up 391,000. It's another staggering number. Last month was 590. The prior two months around 250. The average, Jonathan, there yeah. for the household survey, now remember, it is the household survey that produces the unemployment rate which also dovetails into the labor force participation rate and the employment ratios, all of which went up. You're looking at this tremendous move in the household survey, the four-month change. I hate to look at my cards, but I'm not smart enough to remember all these statistics. But that thing is up 378,000 in the last four months. Now, a couple points here. Again, this tends to be small business and entrepreneurial. Many economists, many good business economists will tell you the household survey, looking under the hood, is a leading indicator of the payroll survey, which measures the larger corporations. I, I think this is a fabulous development, and it suggests to me, as I've been thinking all along, with uh, market interest rates coming down at 100 basis points in the last few months, I think the economy is now in a turning zone. And I think we've had a soft two quarters, but I think now we're going to be moving into a much stronger economic story.